Hello, I'm Mason Brightmore, here today with English Demystified. Today, I'll be discussing the idea of the American dream and how an understanding of it can be obtained through the ideas, attitudes and values conveyed through the book The Great Gatsby and the movie Wall Street. To get an understanding of the American dream in its simplest form, it surrounds the idea that you can start off at nothing and work hard to achieve greatness. You can leave your past life to make something better of yourself. One of the main themes conveyed in both texts surrounds the method of achieving the dream. This is by using corrupt and illegal actions to get there. For the case of the great Gatsby, this is Jay Gatsby himself, who is a rich person who goes around and throws lavish parties for all the people of New York to rock up to. His main intent in doing this though is his hope that his past lover Daisy would show up at one of these events. Through all this glamorous lifestyle, it has been revealed to us though that Gatsby's wealth has been achieved through a bootlegging business, selling alcohol over the counter during the time of the Prohibition. In the movie Wall Street, Gordon Gekko and Bud Fox, the two main characters, show their path to achieving the American dream through their corrupt and illegal ways. To Bud, his end goal is to reach the success level that Gordon Gekko has, even stating once. I want to be Gordon Gekko. And as this became evident to Bud, the only way to achieve this was to perform a legal action through the trade of inside information. An instance of this is where Bud tells Gekko, Well, there was a crash last year. They just got a favorable ruling on a lawsuit. Even the plaintiffs don't know. This was information that had not been released to the public, but instead Bud had received from his father, who is an employee of Blue Star Airlines. This information landed Bud the position with Gecko that allowed him to work with Gecko, which then in turn allowed Bud to grow and gain more wealth as he continued to do devious acts to earn more money. In both instances, the character's wealth had been gained through illegal actions, showing us that the easiest way to achieve the American dream, the easiest way to forget your past life and grow something of yourself, is through performing illegal actions. Another theme that is conveyed through both texts is the idea of a family and what relation having a family truly means to the American dream. In The Great Gatsby, the family that is revealed to us is that of Tom and Daisy Buchanan and their daughter, Pammy. In the scene we introduce to Pammy, it becomes quite clear that Daisy is only using her as a showpiece to make her and her idea of a family look good, even stating, that's because mother wanted to show you off followed immediately by, how do you like mother's friends? In doing this, she clearly admits that her daughter is only a showpiece to her, and by following this up, by asking a question about her friends, she's further showing her selfishness by showing off her rich lifestyle to her daughter, a daughter in which she wants to grow up and continue living the same life, that of the American dream. Not once during this conversation did she ask her daughter how she was, what she wanted to do. The only instance that she even regarded her daughter as something that she cared about was when she called her blessed, precious. She brought her out to show her off to her friends and then she was simply shunted away to go on living her life. In Wall Street, the events of the family are pretty similar, with Gordon Gekko, his wife, hosting a party and bringing along their son Rudy to show off to his friends. This time, the entire thing is being recorded. The way in which Rudy acted in this party was also very reflective of how those who have achieved the dream act. Very entitled. He is shown to be the mantelpiece of Gordon Gecko, the thing that Gecko can just show off to everybody. Gecko even saying, Speaks French already. Kid is the highest score in his IQ test. Making him out to be the amazing kid that the family wants to show off. This is immediately countered by him smashing strawberries and then being dragged away screaming as this is not the sort of lifestyle that Gecko wants to show off to his rich, powerful friends. The portrayal of the families in their films shows them as dysfunctional in their ability to operate a child, and how to achieve the American dream, you'd need a family that actually operates, and how those who have achieved it don't understand how to work a family. The last representation of the American dream in both texts is that those who rise to greatness will always fall. And as the saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. This was most easily represented in The Great Gatsby, where Gatsby dies. Yeah, he, he dies. That There's literally no further place you can fall from. Death is like bottom of the line. He's up here, just 
dead. This happened because of the way he forced himself back into Daisy's life. Without a concern about anyone else or how the actions he performed would impact anyone but himself. His end game was him and Daisy living out their life together as if they had been doing so since they had met. With all this in mind though, he did not perceive his inevitable destruction at the hands of Wilson, whom he had not directly done anything to, but who he had impacted through the actions he performed with society. In the case of Wall Street, the fall came through Bud Fox and the way he dragged Gecko down with him. It had been discovered that Bud Fox had been participating in inside trading through the way that he had miraculously just appeared with money. And because of this, Bud faced the worst punishment of all humiliation with workplace colleagues, followed by being arrested of course, about one and the same. Although his life living the American dream was short lived, he managed to redeem himself slightly by getting Gecko to admit to his illegal crimes, bringing down his sentence and also getting Gecko arrested. The American dream isn't as fabulous as it's made out to be on TV and movies. It's life made by living illegally by performing morally corrupt actions and living a life showing the world someone who you always want to be but will never be good enough to be. And in the end, you'll pay for that. You will receive a punishment worthy of your crimes. Thank you for watching this month's edition of English Demystified. I hope you learned a lot about the American dream and how it's not really what it should be. So, take it. Take what you learned and think to yourself, is it really worth achieving the American dream?